Forefront AI Review and Tutorial. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to review Forefront AI and show you how to use it. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kindly go to Forefront.ai or you can simply click the link on the description below. And after that, you will be directed in here in which it will show you about this platform. And if you don't know this platform, Forefront AI refers to the cutting edge or leading edge advancements in the field of artificial intelligence in which it represents the latest developments, technologies, and research in AI that are the forefront of the innovation. And on this page, if you scroll down below here, it will show you other features that this platform offer, such as it will generate images customize assistance, and you can even transcribe audio and video. And below here is the frequently asked question, in which by clicking on each question, it will show you the corresponding answer, including the question, is forefront free? Are there models limits? Can models access internet? How do assistants work? So those are the frequently asked question, and by clicking on it, it will show you the corresponding answer that you're looking for. So basically, this platform is also like a chat GPT which is designed to generate human-like text responses based on the input it receives. Likewise, ChatGPT it is trained on a large corpus of text data and can engage in the conversational interactions with users. However, ChatGPT tends to have a slight glitches as it is bombarded with many users around the world. So if you use Forefront AI, which is a broader term that refers to the latest advancements and innovations in the field of artificial intelligence, you will experience some of the benefits and features in which ChatGPT does not provide. And to access Forefront AI, they also offer a variety of pricing plans, including the free plan, the basic plan, pro plan, and ultra plan. So same as the ChatGPT, it also offers a free plan, but if you want to upgrade your account, you can purchase this basic pro and ultra plan. And below, you will see the corresponding benefits that you will receive on each plan. And now to access Forefront AI for free, kindly proceed by clicking the sign up button on the top right corner. And from here, to create an account, you can enter your first name, last name, email address, and your phone number, or you can continue using your Google account. So I'm just going to choose to continue using my Google account. And after that, from here, just proceed by clicking Get Started and choose either Personal or for Team Use. You could also choose your style, such as Light or Dark. And also, choose your subscription, but I'm going to choose to continue on free. So kindly click on it, and from here, just proceed by clicking Continue. And after that, the next thing that you need to do is to click Open Forefront. But you can see on the top panel, it shows that some of the benefits including powerful AI models, personas, chat with files, internet browsing, and it can generate images, which is way more advanced to chat GPT. Now by clicking the button below here, you will be directed in this page. So this is the homepage of Forefront AI. And as you can see on the left side panel, it will show you the number of chats. To add folder, kindly proceed by clicking this plus button, and after that, you can now customize the name of the folder and even choose an icon or emoji of it. So all you need to do is to scroll down and just select the icon that you prefer. And after that, you can now start customizing the title of the folder. So I'm going to enter work and to add new chat, you could also click this button that says plus new chat. And after that, you will see on the right side panel, some of the options that you can choose, including GPT 3.5, GPT-4, Cloud Instant, and Cloud2. However, you need to have an upgrade account in order to access the GPT-4. So in those options on the top panel, I'm just going to choose the GPT-3.5. And below here, you could also enable a personas. And by clicking on it, you will see other personas that you can choose, including marketing, system engineer, software engineer, and many more. We have here personal trainer, travel agent, and even some of the name of the scientists. And in order to create a persona, just proceed by clicking this button that says create persona. And upon clicking on it, the next thing that you need to do 
is to enter the name of your persona and from here I'm just gonna enter Albert Einstein and proceed by clicking create below. So after creating a persona, when you click GPT 3.5 on the top panel, you can choose Albert Einstein as your persona and even enable access internet and automatic save chats. And as you can see here, it says that one of your persona is ready. So now all you need to do is to message below here to start asking question to your persona called Albert Einstein, in which you could ask this persona some of the invention or theory of Albert Einstein and it will show you the answer of it. So let's say below here, I'm gonna enter or ask this persona, what is quantum mechanics? And just proceed by hitting enter. And as you can see here, Albert Einstein persona is now trying to respond with our question, in which it is currently browsing through the internet, reading web pages, and other sources to answer our question. And now as you can see, the answer that we're looking for about this question is now provided by this persona and aside from that you could also see the sources below in which it provide a four sources with this one paragraph answer so as you can see there are a lot of feature that this platform provide that chat gpt does not offer including the sources and the personas that is available in this platform in which you could also choose another personas depending on the question that you want to ask such as social media translator and many more so I'm just going to choose Helpful Assistant, which is a persona that will help us in answering some of the general questions that we ask. So below here, just enter your question to Helpful Assistant persona. But before that, one of the features that this platform offer is that you could also share this whole conversation with AI by clicking the share button below here. You will be able to copy a link which is shareable or you can send to your friends using other social media platform in which when they click the link they will see the entire conversation or chats that you have with your persona and now let's try to ask this helpful assistant persona some question so let's say we want a list of ingredients in cooking a carbonara so upon entering or sending a command the persona will search on the internet and read another web page that will help in providing an answer to our question and all you need to do is to wait for it to load until it show you the answer and as you can see here it give us the answer that we're looking for and even the sources included below and aside from that we could also get an image provided by this platform and to do that on the search bar kindly type hashtag image which is written in all lowercase letter and after that, just enter the image that you want this platform to provide. So I'm going to enter hashtag image of Carbonara. And as you can see here, your image has now been generating. And now for the result, it give us or provide us an image that we're looking for. And you could also download this image by clicking this download button below here to get the image that provided by this platform. And that is one of the feature that ChatGPT does not provide. So that is just for front AI review and tutorial. Thank you.